just like dirty love rat boyfriends, pop stars come and pop stars go. But in my heart, there's always something there to remind me of Sandy Shaw! <laughs> Honestly, what a dream come true. Sandy Shaw in the... Look, I can touch Sandy Shaw! Mad. Uh, strange. Isn't it? Yeah. Are you frightened now? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> no, they're all right. They tend to stay there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the thing is that a lot of people, they do remember you for uh, Eurovision and Pop It On A String. Yes. Have I said the wrong thing? No, it's fine. Coming from you, it's OK. Anybody else? Oh, bless. I mean, that song, presumably you, you, you sang it in every language known to man at the time. Oh, yeah. Well, I've done it in, um, well, English. I've done it in French, Franglais, um, Italian, Spanish, German. Do, do you remember that? What, what's, what's German for puppet on string? Uh, <laughs> this is really hard. Um, they actually called it Vida Hopf in Mai. It goes, um, can you bear with me? It's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it goes, Oh, darling, es ist herrlich, gefällig mit dir, wenn du wieder kommst, dann trink ich und sing ich zu dir. I don't believe I did that. No, I want to get lots of complaints from German viewers, kind of going, do you know what she was saying? <laughs> But actually, Toy, you do, I'm getting mixed messages from your music because we were going through your, your song sheets and you must have confused a generation. You really must. Because one minute you're going, long live love. That's what you say, long live love. Then, slight change of heart, nothing comes easy. <laughs> and then finally, Sandy bit the bullet, girl don't come. <laughs> No come at all. Um, <laughs> nice picture, though. Uh, so, people with this problem, this sort of girl don't come problem, do, 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 are they the sort of people who, who come to your clinic now? Because I know you run a clinic. <laughs> Funny enough. I'm not making this up. She does. She runs a clinic. Well, the medical term is um, inorgasmia. If you're inorgasmic, it means you, you don't turn up on time. <laughs> 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 but, no, but tell, tell us what sort of people go to your clinic. Um, well, the arts clinic is for, it's for creative people. People, um, uh, people in the music industry, people in the film industry, people in the TV industry. I hope I'll see you there soon. That's not a nice thing to say, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you need to go to a clinic very shortly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves it, because it's not just people who are sick, it's people that sort of like want to become more creative and... Just to understand more about themselves. But am I right? You counsel people who have problems with fame. Yeah. So, what problems do people have with fame? Um. Well, your relationships get a bit funny when um, you're famous because um, uh, the the girl next door that you're going out with suddenly uh, she's got to share you with like millions of other people, and that's quite difficult for her. It means that you're away a lot of the time, so you can't sustain a relationship, and there's lots of other girls waiting in queues outside the dressing room, so there's that, all those kind of problems. How do you deal with that? Is it you they want, or is it the, uh, the fantasy that they have, or do you care? But you became famous to get boys. Yeah. Did it work? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, you, you ended you up with Jeff Banks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was a rehearsal. Jeff Banks was a rehearsal yeah. for life. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I had another rehearsal with my next husband, who is really nice. You like him? I love it. His name's Nick. His, his name's Nick Powell, and he produces films. Very good. Have you seen his little voice? Oh, Very did he produce that? Yeah. Oh, wow. <gasps> if you were still married to him, you'd be going to the Oscars. Well, I was going to ring him up and see if we could get back together <laughs> again. <laughs> I oh, I love shallow people. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the, then things went a bit weird. For, was, was it after the Jeff Banks thing, when he left and you, you spent a lot of money trying to start his company and stuff? Was that when you ended up waitressing and things? Um, yeah, when he spent all my money, I thought, um... <laughs> No, tell it like it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
I did it. It was great. I did it. Uh, it was in the in Soho, and you should get great tips. <laughs> <laughs> and who else was it? Was it the one with the glasses? Uh, Pollard. Sue. Sue. Yes, Sue Pollard. Sue Pollard. She used to come in there a lot and make me run backwards and forwards. Oh, she was mean. <laughs> we like this, don't we? <laughs> more, more. <laughs> I saw Andy Warhol. Well, Andy Warhol, I knew, and I was so embarrassed I couldn't tell him it was me. Oh no! Yeah. I but now you're, you're thinking of getting back into the music now, or? Mm. Oh, I wish you would. I'd like a bit of fun, actually. My life's so serious, you know. All these problems, people coming with all their problems, <laughs> you know. I'd like to have a bit of fun.